Hey Tubes, this is my uh, my 2003 Honda CRF 230F, and uh, I wanted to uh, solve a problem here that uh, there's been an ongoing discussion between me and my dad for a number of years, uh, and that discussion being, uh, we always wondered is when you have when you leave the key on, because see this bike as you know if you have one it's got a key, so you can either use the key to turn it on and off or you you, uh, you can use the kill switch here, and of course if you do want to use the key. Um, you do have to turn the key on to uh, to get it to start. Uh, so anyway, my theory is that all the key does is one, it acts as a kill switch, so it's it's basically probably wired up in the, along with the, with the kill switch button there. And the only other thing I say that it does is cut off the starter motor. So when you turn this off, it breaks the circuit and doesn't allow you to start the motor. My dad thinks that there is a uh, well, there obviously has to be some draw of current in there that um, that would be using up energy and causing the battery to go dead. Because uh, we, as you might you might know, you might see my video. I just put a battery in this uh, not not too long ago, and it had gone dead. And I figured that just from use, that, that was what it caused it to need to be replaced. I mean, it was about five years old, so you know, batteries don't last forever. But either way, we're going to solve this once and for all. I got my multimeter out here, and we're going to. Uh, we're gonna wire it up here and uh, in parallel with the battery and check it out. See if uh, see if there's any current drain on it when uh, when the switch is on. All right, so let me get let me let me get down here and we'll we'll set it up and try it out. Stand by. Okay, so the first thing we'll do here is I've dis disconnected the negative lead on the battery. Now you can do it either way, but you're just gonna have to switch things around. Actually, you wouldn't if uh, my meter here it's a uh, an analog meter, so there is polarity. But uh, if you use a digital one, they're auto sensing anyway, so you don't have to worry about it. But once you take the uh, the negative lead off, what you're going to do is hook your negative on the battery up to the negative on your multimeter, okay? And then the other thing you do is hook your uh, your negative terminal, which you've removed. That's this one here, and hook that up to the positive term or positive lead of your meter, okay? Now, if you look at the meter here, right now. There's zero draw on it, okay? I've got it set up. Oh, actually, I don't even have it on the right setting. Okay, now I've got it set on 500 milliamps, and there's no draw. You don't see anything at all, okay? Now, if I go ahead and turn the key on here, you'll hear a click when I turn it on. You may notice, because I already did this before, so I'm not I'm not surprised. But you, kick, you turn the key on, and there's zero current draw. You don't see that jump up at all. Turn it off, turn it on. Nothing. Now, if I even if I turn it down, let me uh, let me keep it where you can see it. If I turn it down to five five milliamps, still nothing. Now, let me turn it back to 500 here, just to prove to you that uh, that my meter isn't bad, or I didn't hook it up the uh, intentionally hook it up the wrong way, just to prove a point. Is I'm going to hit the starter button just real quick, just for a second, because that'll uh, that'll blow my fuse in this real quick. But I uh, I'm not too worried about that. They're disposable, at least in my opinion. And besides. I'm only going to hit for just a second. So ready? Here goes. Okay. Did you see it? You heard the. Uh, obviously, it's not a good connection, so it's not going to uh, not going to turn over. But you heard the solenoid buzz a little bit, and uh, you notice the meter jump up and uh, register the current draw. But either way, that's uh, that's about it. That's what I wanted to show you guys. So there's there's no current draw on the uh, on the battery when you leave your key on. Now I'd. Uh, I, I feel safe doing that anyway because I've actually uh, I knew that I'd left the thing on for uh, about a week uh, maybe maybe longer I went away to camp or something and I left the key on one time and I came back and it fired right up so I knew if there was any current draw it was minimal uh, but there you go just uh, just checked it with the meter and nothing nothing whatsoever but uh, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully this solves some problems or uh, yeah just some some kind of interesting to know and just keep in mind if you decide uh, you know, if you're really into trail riding with this, you put lights on it or other, uh, you know, like a speedometer, one of those trail computers, that's obviously going to draw power. And if you wire that in with your key, then that's, uh, that's, uh, that's going to be another story. All right, thanks for watching, and follow me on Twitter, at Dirtbike5100. Okie dokie, tubes.